it's not near the top, it's not near the bottom. I'm really placing it in there until I push that button and it comes back up to the top with your initials on it. Okay. Now, I can't see it go to the top. Can you see it go to the top? Yeah. The reason why is I'm pushing it square in with the other cards. If I were to leave it sticking out, you would be able to see it, right? Okay. So I'm going to put it in the middle of the deck. Actually, instead of putting it in the middle, I'm going to put it just a little lower this time. Now, it's sticking out near the bottom, so, and I'm going to do this really slowly so you can see it. Keep your eyes on the cards sticking out. If I give the cards a gentle shake, it jumps up to about the middle from near the bottom. Give the cards another shake, it jumps up to near the top. Give the cards one last shake, it jumps up so it is the top with your initials on it. Thank you. Wait, 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 there's more. It doesn't stop there. If you let it rest on top and you ruffle the cards gently, it goes down through all the other cards to the bottom with your initials on it. Thank you. I'm going to show you cards one at a time. Okay. Think of one of the cards that you see. Okay. Good. <laughs> now, I'm not a mind reader, so I don't know what card you saw. But I am a good guesser, and I can probably hit it right on. Okay, that's my guess. If it's right, I'll show it to you. Tell everybody else here what card you thought of. It's the Two of Hearts. Two of Hearts. Okay, I'm not going to touch the card that I left sticking out and show you that it is wow. indeed the two of hearts, and wow. great minds do think alike. Yeah. I mean, it seemed to me almost like, real, almost like real mind reading. That's the impression I'm trying to give the audience. Wait, wait a minute. Are you saying that you're really reading their minds? No, Mr. Andrus. I'm telling them that I'm pretending to read oh. their mind. It's oh, not right. real, although it looks good. Bye, Jerry. Bye, Bye Jerry these two queens. They're going to be a Venus flytrap in just a moment. Chio, I need you to choose a card. Please touch the back of one card. Good choice, the Queen of Diamonds. Okay, that Queen of Diamonds is perilously exposed, sticking out like that right above those vicious queens. All we have to do is give the cards a little shake. That causes the black queens to trap the Queen of Diamonds above, below. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. You're going to help me with this. I'm going to riffle the cards towards your eyes, and you're going to see all the faces of all the cards, and you're going to think of one of the cards that you see. Okay. Now, don't think of the face one. That's too easy. Oh. You got one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, I'm going to riffle the cards again. The card that you are thinking of jumps out of the deck. What was the card that you were thinking mm, of? Close. Oh. What was it? Five of clubs. Oh. That's half right. It sees five clubs on a ten of clubs. Okay, well, let's do something else. Let's take this Ten of Clubs and insert it back in the deck. I think that was about the spot it was at. Would you please hold on to the corner of the card? Go ahead and gently pull. And that reheals the Ten of Clubs back to this whole state. Go ahead, show everybody. Back to the way it was before. <laughs> you are healed! <laughs>